In this video, we're going to be looking at a couple of types of lenses. First type is a converging lens, and the second type is a diverging lens. In terms of comparing them, the converging lens kind of bulges out while the diverging bulges inward. So we've got a focal point, and if you take a quick look here, we've got some light rays that come in, and when they hit the uh, middle part of our mirror or axis, what they're going to do is they are going to be bent towards a focal point. So the distance between uh, would be our focal distance. So just to recall here that we do have focal points on both sides because light can travel two directions. It can travel this way through a lens, and believe it or not, it can travel this way through a lens as well. So there's a couple of things that could happen. Uh, again, we also have a focal length here, and so uh, one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative, uh, because there are two of them. So we've got some rules that we're going to have to check out here. All lines of light that come in parallel to a principal axis are going to be bent through the focal point. There's two examples. And that is our first rule. Any line coming in parallel to the principal axis will be refracted down towards our focal point. Rule two, any line that passes through the center point or a vertex will just uh, go through and be bent, uh, not at all. There's three more examples, so it all depends where you're starting from. And our third rule is um, light that travels from the focal point hits our lens and will be bent parallel to our principal axis. So let's use those three lines now to go ahead and solve where our image will be created. So our light ray travels parallel, gets bent through the focal point. Second one goes through the top and uh, <clears throat> straight through our center point, and we have our image here. And if we did do our third line, remember, it would go top, focal, and then come out like that. So it would basically confirm it there. So our object is real and inverted. And keep in mind, this is where your eye would be over here. So it would be appearing upside down. Second one, we're actually moving a little bit closer now to our focal point. And you'll notice that our image is still inverted, but now it's a lot larger. So we still have a real image as well. Now we've passed our focal point. And when we do our two lines, you'll notice that these things are actually moving out from each other. It looks like they're never going to uh, meet going in this direction, so we have to dot backwards. So let's do that. Let's dot our refracted lines backwards, and when we do that, we'll actually have our image created. You can see it's upright, and it's much larger. And we actually have a virtual image now. So we'll switch lenses here. This is our diverging lens. We're still going to have the same uh, results from our two types of lines. A line that comes in parallel is going to be bent. Now it's going to be bent the other way. It's going to be bent away from our principal axis, but is going to dot back to our other focal point. And there it is again. Lines that go through the center just go through the center without being bent. And we have a line that goes directly towards the focal point, actually gets bent parallel. So we're only going to have one outcome with this type of line. So this line is in line with our focal point. It's going to be bent straight. Top in the center, we have our image formed right there. So it's virtual, it's smaller, and it is right side up.